Hello and thank you for joining me for your January predictions. How do they really feel about you? So for those who are not familiar with this setup, um, you, you can pause the video if you feel that'll help you um, and wait until you are intuitively drawn to any pile of cards basically. Um, I will try and timestamp the video as well, so it should be easier for you to just skip ahead to your selection. Um, these predictions, I'm recording them in December, but these predictions are for January 2020, for how does my person really feel. Okay, so I will give you a few moments with the cards and... Whichever crystal you feel drawn towards, we have one, two, three, and four. Um, and the best way to do it is to just try and get as relaxed as you possibly can. Okay, so for those of you who chose deck number one, or group number one, um, this is where your reading will begin. For how does your person really feel? Um, what's going on with them? Um, okay, right, so group number one. Your person is currently dealing with a family situation that could, could well involve their children as well. Um, Okay, so they're currently preoccupied, creativity and gains. Right, so your person is also, I'll just check, you can see those cards, yeah. They are trying to think of different ways, um, I'm getting the feeling here that your person is focused on money. Um, they want to provide for their family. Um, or again, you could be dealing with a single parent for some of you as well. Um, and that's where this, I'm, I'm getting almost like your person, there's an urgency vibe here going on. Um, so they're really focusing on how to get more income so that they can provide. Um, yeah, wealth. So your person is completely focusing on their wealth at this moment in time. We also have key successful outcome to your problems. So your person is going to be successful. Um, whatever this new creative endeavour is that they're taking on to get more income for their family, they're going to be successful with this one. Um, they could also be dealing with a younger woman, um, or you could be the younger woman, or they have a daughter. Um, okay. We then have July. Uh, something is going to transpire in July. Okay, zebra. Um, okay, with the zebra energy, your person, um, they see you as very different. Your person views you as maybe a little bit eccentric, um, a lot of fun. I'll just check you can see those cards properly. Okay. Um, your person also sees you as as very creative. Um, okay, your person might even approach you with advice on how they can how they can provide for their child or for their family. Uh, for some of you, your person has got a family member that is dependent on them that isn't a child. It's more of um like an older relative. Um, so your person is very much going to be asking you here for your advice because of the creativity. Uh, the zebra is a creative energy and your person is looking at creative ways to um, bring in the coin. 
your person also feels like you have opened up their mind to um, new possibilities, new ways of doing things, and um, it's it's they there's like a contagious vibe with the zebra. Um, your enthusiasm is contagious. Uh, so this person probably dealt with a bit of depression in the past and they find that y your joy, um, they they get happy when, when they're in your energy. It's like um, if you take a sneaky glance towards their direction, if you're you know, having a little bit of a muck around, you'll find that actually they're smiling. Um, so it's like your joy, your happiness and your enthusiasm is really, really contagious to this person. And because of that energy, you've opened up their mind. Um, okay, so in your tarot, we have the Hierophant, Justice, Ace of Coins, the Hermit, the King of Coins and the Six of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with Taurus, Libra, Virgo, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, but you don't have to be. It's just a little extra bit of information that may or may not be useful to some of you. Or indeed, you could have these signs somewhere in your chart. Okay, um, so your tarot, your person, how they really feel, um, they, they do want a commitment they do. Um, they also feel that something was um, kicked out of balance. Um, they're, they're a very traditional person. They're, they're very stubborn, stuck in their ways. Um, or you could be dealing with a fixed sign, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Um, because this person is very, very stuck in their ways. Um, but but they are coming around to new ways of thinking, though. All thanks to you. Um, because you've opened up their mind to new ways of thinking. Um, and because of that, there is going to be balance brought back into the situation. In fact, your person wants to take control here. Your person wants to bring the balance back. Um, you've got the Ace of Coins, which is a brand new beginning. Um, absolutely, your person wants to have a brand new beginning with you. Uh, your person sees a lot of potential here in the situation with you. Um, the Hermit, this tells me that your person has done a lot of introspection. Um, they, they've really, there's, it's almost like the, the torch is still burning for you, very, very much so. And then King of Coins. So whatever money worries um, this individual had, again, there is going to be success with this. And we already saw that in your tea leaf cards. Um, so your person, their focus very much is they they like to take things step by step. They like to do things in stages. And the first stage is to get their financial situation um, secured. And I can see in the tarot that that is going to be the case. And of course, we've even got a timeline here with it being in July. Uh, so you can expect something... Um, you can expect your situation to change in a big, big way in July. Um, I know that might be a bit of a wait for some of you, um, but it depends. I mean, you know, you can't rush these things, especially where financial matters are concerned. Um, it does take time. Also, there's something here about this person has um, invested in something specific and their payout for this is going to be in July. Uh, and for a very small number of you, your person is actually selling a family home that is going to be um, completed in July. And those, the finances from that is 
is going to be a good starting point um, because your person I'm getting the vibe that your person is a very proud person and they don't like depending on others they, it's almost like the vibe of an emperor uh, that, that emperor energy it's like they, they want to deal with it themselves they get a lot of inspiration from you um, but they don't like sort of handouts and that kind of help they're, they're very independent minded and then we have the the six of swords um that is a fantastic way to end your tarot spread group number one because the six of swords always pertains to moving out of troubled times and into much much happier times much calmer times and you can see in in this particular deck is actually a very peaceful card as well um so your person's issues on their financial front um are very very much going to be sorted and when that's sorted they can then approach you with the next step for your connection um Okay, so for your oracle, we have number 33, which is open your presence. And this is a number six, and six in tarot pertains to perseverance. Group number one, your person is very much going to persevere in the situation with you. Um, it's just at the moment they are very, very much preoccupied with their money situation. Um, and... In fact, some of you can expect um, a secret Christmas gift here with that card coming out this close to Christmas. Yes, these are Jan uh, January predictions, but I'm recording it in December, so the energy is still applicable. Um, energy is fluid. Time is fluid. They're, they're going to hide a Christmas gift somewhere. And it's going to be, for some of you, a couple of days after Christmas when you'll stumble upon it. And it's just going to... It's just going to give you this amazing feeling that your person is very, very much thinking of you. Um, and also, with this card, um, your person... They... They feel like you're their gift. That's a bit soppy, I know. Um, okay, so your next card out, Cloak Yourself in Light, number 39. Um, so that's three, creativity. So again, there's, there's that creativity vibe. I'm getting the person group number one that your person, although they might appear a bit stoic on the outside, actually on the inside, they're a bit of a... They're a bit cheeky. Um, it's almost like they've been restricted uh, and they have to put on this sort of stoic mask. But underneath, there's there's someone very playful and very cheeky um, and very creative. They are currently trying to... Um, see the light in the situation they're, they're also healing themselves with this card um and again they're trying to do it in a creative way you have sparked something in this person group number one and again is very very interesting because if you look there are stop signs there's all these stop signs and then the love hearts so your person is trying to probably trust in love again um so that if there's a bit of a stop start energy to your connection and um, that's going to be resolved when your person can learn to learn to trust love again okay so you're probably dealing here with someone who who is um a bit mature in age, uh, someone who's been put through the ringer. Um, they're doing a lot of inner healing here. Um, it's almost like on the outside they're not showing much love, 
but on the inside actually that they're, they're hiding that they're, they're keeping the, the true intent towards you hidden and secret um, and it's all it's all gonna come out it's all gonna come out to light okay your person then has get more information so with this card um, your person thinks they know how you feel about them but they're not a hundred percent positive so if your person hasn't come forward yet and told you how they feel um, it's because they're, they're trying to gather more information on the situation and um, they don't want to make a fool of themselves because we've already singled out that the, the person that you're dealing with is um, very, a very proud person um, they don't want to be embarrassed so they're, they're waiting for some sort of clarity coming in here okay and then the the final message uh, for your person you have what it takes and it says always follow your heart unless it's been broken then you must lead it back oh. guys the wording on these cards I mean what can I say always follow your heart unless it's been broken then you must lead it back into the universe back into love P.S. Did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? So there's self-confidence issues here for you, group number one. Um, again, this is all about your person. Your person has been hurt quite badly in the past, and because of their financial situation, they were probably even taken for a bit of a mug here they were probably left with a financial um void that they're desperately trying to fill before they can um move forward with you um the financial void was more likely than not left there by one of their exes um, and they're, they're still healing from that um there's definitely a very positive read for you, group number one. Um, patience is required with your person. And write down July. July is going to be significant for you, group number one. Okay, so that was your pick a card read. I hope that that was helpful to somebody. Um, please do get in touch. I absolutely love hearing from every single one of you. And thank you so, so much to all of those who have supported my channel over the past couple of weeks. It has absolutely meant the world to me. Um, and it helps me as well to keep putting out the content that hopefully will be helpful um, to, to the collective. And th this is why I do what I do. Okay, so thank you group number one. Um, have a lovely, lovely December and January and I will speak to you soon. Bye! Okay, so group number two. This is your January 2020 predictions for how does your person really feel about you. Okay, so <laughs> group number two, just making sure you can see those cards properly. There we go. Okay, so group number two, your person is very, very stuck. Um, transformation and reconciliation. Okay, group number two. Um, Your person wants to reconcile with you, which tells me that things didn't end well. Um, they want to transform the situation. They're, they're also feeling... Um, they're confused as to how they can get this reconciliation brought to you. Um, I'm actually picking up on a really heavy energy here. So this is weighing very, very heavily on your person's heart, group number two. Um, your person wants happiness. 
At the moment, though, they're scared and worried. They're, there's a very tense situation here that's going on with your person. And bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Um, okay, so group number two. Some of you might have walked away from your person. Um, and that is now why they are stuck in this of not knowing how to reconcile and transform the situation. Um, group number two, your person is very, very scared, but um, they're going to fight for you. Absolutely, because what's on your person's mind is happiness, their ultimate happiness, their son. Um, and for some of you as well, be aware of gossip, okay? You don't want anything coming back. Um, you don't want any false information getting back to your person, so be careful with gossip. And then we have August. So August is going to be a very telling month. Or, no, I'm actually getting that this is more of past energy for you, group number two. Um, something transpired in August that led to this current situation. Okay. We then have Elk. Um, earth energy. The elk is um, someone who is very now. Gender is not specific. Tarot is not gender specific. Okay, so it's just the energies. So this is a very masculine uh, person, um, and they are an incredibly protective parent as well. So some of you could be dealing with someone who already has children from a previous connection. Um, your, your person is very much going to uh, protect th their child or they feel very protective over you. So you could be dealing with somebody who is significantly older than you. Um, they, they, they have this very protective energy over you, over the connection with you, which is why a part that they're actually really conflicted group number two because a part of them wants to go charging in to reconcile. Um, but that's dangerous for them because they they don't want to make a mistake because the elk is a very prideful energy also um which is very similar to group number one's reading um because group number one were dealing with someone who is very full of pride as well um okay so for your tarot pull these out in the order in which they fell so we have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Coins, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Coins. Okay, so your, your tarot spread for how do they really feel about you, group number two. Your person wants to apologise to you. They do. Um, and if you look at the size of the wave in this particular deck, your person has got a lot, and I mean a lot, of emotion for you. Um, they're almost drowning in their own emotion for you, and they don't know how to handle this. Um, they've probably never experienced this depth of emotion for anyone before. Um, they, they owe you an apology. And they are currently stuck because they know that the only way to transform this situation and to get the reconciliation that they are craving is to come forward to you with this apology. They are paying very close attention to all the details. They are strategizing. You're, you're working with a very strategic individual here. Um, so whereas they... The, and, and then the conflict is here again with the, the two of coins that back and forth in their mind because a part of them wants to go rushing in like a bull um, but it's the whole bull in a china shop theory um, they're going to end up destroying more if they go rushing in um, so, so they're really trying to keep themselves conserved and they're, they're trying to sh be strategic because 
with the eight of coins they see that you have got very very high standards very high standards and that you will not accept anything less than than what you deserve um which, which is quite right how they really feel about you group number two um i wouldn't be surprised here if they are um see i don't want to get all graphic and mucky on my channel um <laughs> they are fantasizing about you group number two that's the cleanest way i can say it okay and also the interesting thing in this deck is the butterfly on the ace of wands um you simply having you in their lives has transformed who they are as a person it's almost like you have reawakened something that they kept hidden deep inside of them and also um, i'm seeing red ribbons here as well so you could well be dealing with a soulmate here group number two your person feels that you are the soulmate um, and you have transformed their life th th their lives um there's a dawn of a new day here as well with this particular ace of wands um you've planted seeds group number two and they're growing even though there's no communication at this time those seeds that you planted are growing okay so your person wants to have the ten of cups with you they want to have the happy home the happy family the happy business the happy life the ten of cups the ultimate happiness your person sees you as their ultimate happiness and this is why they're so stuck their current energy is the nine of swords they they, they can't rest they can't get any rest they are so so stressed they're going back and forth in their mind how am i going to do this with my person you your person is very very much in a, a mental complex state here and they're probably not even getting enough sleep um so I, I'm feeling really frustrated for your person, actually, group number two, um, because they've got all this emotion and passion for you. Um, they, they see your worth, they see your value, and they see that they've messed up. Um, and yet they're still very, very protective over you and over the connection that they have with you. Um, your person is absolutely going to do everything that it takes to get this back on track. Um, absolutely going by your tarot spread that the, there is nothing that your person wouldn't do for you and that is how your person truly truly feels for you okay so with their oracle cards laser beam yeah um number 39 uh, which is a three creativity um Again, you have sparked something within your person that um, either they didn't realise they had or that they had completely forgotten about that part of themselves. Um, laser beam, they are absolutely going to make a beeline for you, group number two. There is nothing that this person isn't going to do try or say to get you back laser beam laser beam intensity um they've got you in their sights and they are not going to let you go if you're not in contact with this person they are going to be in contact with you soon with the laser beam card they are not going to let you go um like a sniper that set their sights on their target laser beam um okay and then we have number 27 which is a nine a nine is all about attainment and completion um so your person has more i'm, I'm getting the vibe here oh that's weird there's christmas tree oh 
Oh. Okay, so group number two. Um, these are January 2020 predictions, but I'm recording these in December, right before Christmas. And there is a Christmas tree in that card. Or, well, I don't know if it's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but it definitely looks like one. Um, they, your person is going to use Christmas time as an excuse to get back in touch with you, group number two, okay? So, um, for some of you, you've walked away from this person. That's why the let go card has come out. Um, you weren't being trapped in the way that you should have been, so you did the correct thing and you walked away. However, when you walked away, you left the door open and you left the door open deliberately so that your person could follow you. That was very, very clever, group number two. Um, and it's basically lit a fire up your person's bum. And they are doing exactly what you expected. And they are, they are gonna follow you through that door. They absolutely will. Because this is how your person truly, truly feels. Um, they see you walking away and it's hurt them. It's put them in this grief. I don't think you're going to have to wait too long before your person does come through that door. Okay. And then we have perfect timing. So your person, um, you're actually both being divinely guided here as well. And things have happened in a deliberate sequence of events because there were lessons here that you both needed to learn. You both needed to um, feel what it was like to be without each other. Um, your person more specifically because there's a strong vibe here, group number two, that your person probably took you for granted. Okay, so everything that has happened has absolutely been uh, deliberate by the divine um again this soulmate connection and then you have you glow we beam thanks and it says in case anybody should ask your heart isn't too large because of your wings it is your wings that are so large be because of your heart sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy thanks for all that you shared love the universe P.S. It's just another one of those nutty body algorithm things. And isn't, I find that absolutely fascinating because butterflies and metamorphosis has pretty much been the theme of your read here, group number two. Um, so that concludes your January predictions, group number two, for how does your person really feel. Um, I really do hope that that was helpful to somebody. Please, please do get in touch. I absolutely love hearing from every single one of you. And thank you so, so much from the bottom of my soul to everybody for all of, this, all of the support um, that, that you show my channel. It, it means that I can continue to, to put content out there for those who need to hear the content. And that's why I do this. Um, it's... It's looking good, group number two. It absolutely is. Um, your person is transforming. A hundred percent they are transforming. And with that, they are going to transform the situation with you. Your person very, very much wants this. And they're, they're, they're just slow because they are terrified of causing more harm than good. Um, because that is how much you mean to your person. Okay, so thank you, group number two. Um, I will speak to you again soon. Bye. Okay, so for those of you who are in group number three, this is where your um, January predictions read will begin. Okay, so for group number three, how do they really feel? Okay. Group number three, your person feels very, very invested in the situation with you. 
forwards, forwards movement and passion. Um, so your person, how they really feel, they want forward movement with this and um, passion, action. Um, they want to push things forward with you. So if they want forwards movement, then the situation at hand has probably been a bit stagnant for a while. Um, your person wants to have success with you and the month of May might be significant. Um, so it could well be that something transpired in May or you met in May. Um, there's something about the month of May. And also that's around sort of Easter time, <clears throat> which is all about Mm. That's really, really interesting. Rebirth. See, your person wants to rebirth something with you, group number three. Um, they really do want success with this. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So intuitively, group number three, um, you already know how this person really feels for you. Uh, you. You're probably just looking for validation. Um, you're probably quite uh, quite an intuitive individual. And we have dark women dealing with, uh, sorry, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Okay, so your person's probably dealing with uh, an individual who fits that description or you could be the individual that fits that description okay your person's very invested in the connection though and they really do want forward movement and success with this one you then have cheetah that's fire energy so again that's more passion uh, the, the cheetah energy is very very quick um, it's it's quick and then it stops and then it's quick again and then it stops um, because the cheetah conserves all of its energy until it has its target exactly where it wants it and then it will make a bolt towards that target um, sorry I don't I don't want to describe you as being someone's target group number three um, your person basically they th there's a lot of passion in them that they want to share with you. Um, I'm trying not to be mucky on the channel. Right, so for your tarot, in the order of which they came out, okay, well group number three, you've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Coins and the Six of Cups. Okay, so group number three, you're dealing with a soulmate um, and your person loves you. Your person is absolutely in love with you. And what what, <laughs> what was I saying about how the cheetah um, makes its move once it's got its eye on its target? There's an eye and its target is love. Um, Wow, uh, your person's probably waiting for confirmation to hear um, about how you feel about them. Uh, your person is very, very worried, um, right, so there's not been any communication here, um, or there's been, there has been communication but not about being in love. Um, your person is very, very worried about how they're going to communicate their love for you, to you. Um, they're, with the cheetah card again, they're waiting for the opportune moment. Um, and action, action, uh, communication, very, very fast. Eight of Wands, it's fast energy, it's fiery energy. It's um, once someone is positive that um, they have their target lined up, they're going to shoot their arrows towards that target, okay? Um, 
your person is very 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 much in love with you here with the ace of cups and you've got the six of cups so it's reconciliation with a soulmate um, there can also be an age difference here between you um, your person is very uh, nostalgic they are well I'm recording this in December but these these predictions are for January um, but because because of the energy of which I'm recording this in, it's close to Christmas. So your person is feeling really nostalgic. Um, they're reminiscing over the happier times that you had together. Um, in fact, your person feels like you are their home. And again, with this cat in that deck, hiding in the grass. So group number three, your person is watching you. They are watching you to make sure that they do not miss that opportunity to spring into cheetah mode and to come dashing towards you with this communication. Um, to, and the communication is going to pertain exactly to, I love you. I absolutely love you. Um, they are completely besotted with you group number three and that's why the grief card is showing up that's why they're so stressed and worried um, up until now it's been a secret also and it's purely been your intuition that has led you up to this point your intuition has told you that this person is in love with you but because you were only relying on intuition uh, you didn't know whether or not to trust it um, your tarot cards are telling you trust your intuition a hundred percent and if i remember correctly we had that yeah with the i card trust your intuition you intuitively knew that this individual was in love with you um, but you didn't feel like that was enough to go by uh, so you were doubting yourself and you, you're looking for validation basically and that's exactly what your tarot spread is all about. It's validation. Your person is literally hiding in the grass like a cat, like a cheetah, waiting for the opportune moment to spring this on you. Um, your person wants to have the Ten of Cups with you. It's ultimate happiness. It's joy, fulfillment, success, um, happy home, happy life, happy business, happy everything. Um, this is what your person wants with you. You've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. Um, and again, more cats. Um, there's another cat in that picture. Um, and that's exactly the way that a cat would behave. They conserve their energy. They are creatures of opportunity. They conserve their energy. They hunt, they stalk, they patiently, patiently wait. And they only go for it when they know that they can hit their target. Um, and the seven of coins, again, you've, you've put a lot of effort into this connection. You've been very, very patient with this connection. Um, and you literally, the, even though the hangman isn't here in your cards, I'm still very much feeling that um, energy of being in limbo, uh, that energy of waiting. Um, you really want to harvest. You, you want to harvest what you've put out there. Um, and it's, it's coming in. It is. Your person wants a reconciliation with you. They are literally simply waiting for their opportune moment. That is how your person really feels. Ouch. Okay. For the Oracle cards, we have 36 head games, um, which is a nine. Nine in tarot is all about attainment and completion. Um, head games so this person you've put this person on a bit of a timeout then and um, because they the you felt this manipulation um and that also 
was the reason for you not being sure whether or not you could trust your intuition on how they truly felt um, because there were too many head games with this person um, again there's an element here of someone being egotistical someone being driven by their ego um, and you didn't like it so you put this person on time out okay yeah yeah absolutely downtime number three uh creativity um downtime you you had to do the unexpected here with this one and um, because of the head games um that's where your creativity for the number three is coming in it's um you you had to do something new you had to change it up so you put this person on a timeout um, too many head games your person is working towards success with you and there is going to be success in this situation for sure um, because you've it's almost as if as well for some of you that this person was coming in a little bit too hot and heavy so you put them on downtime um, it was just a little bit too much too soon um, your person's working towards success with this situation they absolutely do want success with you that is certain and then your end oracle prepare to be astounded um, it says send them love wish them peace see them happy everyone always forever and prepare to be astounded love the universe p.s oh man and will you ever become a big time manifester okay um prepare to be astounded so your person is manifesting um a change with you they there's an element here, group number three, that your person is also going to do the unexpected towards you. Um, you manifested change and change is coming in. So again, it's paying attention to what you're putting out there because things are coming in. Seven of coins. What you plant, what you put out comes back in. Um, I'm missing another message here there's something else um, so this person has had games because you put them on downtime you're not wishing ill on them um, you've put them on downtime while wishing them all the best and that is the energy that's coming back in group number three your person's coming back in um, and bringing changes with it successful changes they absolutely see you as a soulmate and they are not going to let this situation go not ever um, not with that cheetah energy okay so group number three that was your January predictions for how do they truly feel I hope that that was helpful to somebody please do get in touch I absolutely love hearing from every single one of you um, the support on this channel has been amazing and it really really helps me to continue to do this and to put the content out and to put the messages out to those who really need to hear them as well and that's why I do what I do and your support on this channel helps me to maintain that so thank you very much um group number three i hope you have a fantastic december and january and i will speak to you again soon bye okay so group number four this is your uh, january 2020 predictions for how do they truly feel okay so let's find out right so group number four, your person is aware that there is something between you both. Um, balance, 
Okay, so something has been tilted out of balance here in this connection. <gasps> and genuine feelings as well. Um, your person is now aware of their genuine feelings for you. Um, they were probably questioning themselves for a very, very long time. Um, is this real? Um, a bit like that Queen song. Is this real or is it just fantasy? Um, you, you maybe go listen to that song. There must be a message in there because I've not heard that song in about 12 years. Um, and it's literally just popped in my head here. So definitely go listen to that song. Um, they're, they're coming to terms now. They are actually aware that their, their feelings for you are genuine. That's how they truly feel. Um, and it's that that has knocked them off balance. Um, okay, we have marriage. Okay. We have March. Casket. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. That's interesting. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Um, okay, so group number four. Your person is more than likely um because of this flute card th this combination here there's an ending of a marriage here um so y the person that you're dealing with is probably ending their marriage um not because of you but because it was dead uh, that marriage was dead for a very very long time and it's literally um sealing the deal um and for some of you as well, the, you can probably expect some kind of marriage proposal in March. Um, snowdrops are significant. When the snowdrops come out, so will the truth. Okay, we have hyena. Um, so group number four, your person. Now, how they truly feel about you. Um, they truly... They feel that you hide your hurt um, through humour, or they do it. Um, now, with, with tarot, the, the energy can go either way. Um, but somebody here in this connection hides their hurt through humour. Um, th this person loves to make people laugh. It doesn't matter if this person is absolutely crippling in pain inside. This person will still make people laugh just by being them. And that's how they deal with pain, through humour. Um, so now that, that's either you or the individual that you're dealing with. Um, it's, it's a good energy, but... It needs careful attention with this one because the hyena energy, um, you can be succumb to depression through doing this. Um, it's almost like ignoring that inner hurt while you're making others laugh. Um, so be careful with that one because because that, that can lead to depression. Um, Okay, so let's get into your tarot and the way that they came out. Okay, so the nine of coins, your person is either single or making their way to being single. Um, or they're currently enjoying being single. It gives them a little bit of freedom that they haven't had for a very long while. And um, so they're currently enjoying that newfound freedom. Um, how they really feel, stability. Four of Wands, Marriage Card, uh, followed by the Two of Cups, levelling up the relationship to the next level. It's equal, um, it's mutual. The, the genuine feelings here, group number four, are very, very much mutual with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is all about mutual love, um, mutual taking it to the next stage. So some of you very much can expect a, a wedding proposal in March. Um, and for others of you, that this individual is 
sealing the deal on an old marriage and wants to have stability and growth with you. Um, your person is currently, um, they're, they're in a little bit of emotional turmoil here because they don't want to come across as a bit of a player. Um, they don't want to come across as jumping straight from one um, connection <clears throat> into a brand new one. Um, they, they don't want to look like a, a bad hopper, basically. Um, so they're taking the time with this one. They, they, there is a lot of emotion here and things have been very, very rocky for your person. Um, very turbulent as well. Um, so th they, they need a bit of a breathing space here to get back in touch with who they are. Um, who, who are they? Uh, especially if this was a long-term marriage, um, then they need to rediscover themselves. Um, Page of Wands, it's a new path, a new path, a new direction. It's finding that spark, um, that spark for life again. It's finding where, what makes them happy. Um, and group number four, you or what makes your person happy. Very, very much so. In fact, there's a soul link here with the, the Devil card and the Two of Cups. Now, yes, the Devil card can pertain to negative um, negativity, but when you look at this spread, okay, it's very important with tarot that you pay attention, not just to the card, but the cards that are surrounding it. So that's above it, diagonal, next to none of these cards are bad cards okay so that means that the devil card is actually a positive energy and you could well be dealing here with the capricorn or uh, aries leo sag and i'm getting sag strongly um or you have these signs somewhere in your chart um there's nothing negative here that's surrounding the devil card. So it means that this is a soul connection. There's a strong soul link here. Um, your person feels very, very connected to you. Very, um, they, they feel this soul link. You both do. You both do because remember, it's mutual. The, the feelings of passion is mutual. The... In fact, I want to say temptation here as well, because the devil, um, the original connotation of the devil is Pan. And Pan was all about the raw human emotions, uh, intimacy, having fun, uh, being cheeky with it, being playful with it. And we've already seen the hyena card, which is literally that kind of energy. Um, you two have a lot of fun when you're together, a lot of fun. And it's helped your person rediscover who they are. And that is such an important thing for soul growth, soul link. This is a very um, important connection here, group number four, very, very important. And the feelings are mutual. That is how your person truly feels about you. Everything that you feel about your person, they feel about you. Okay, so let's get on to your oracle. Number 43, which is uh, number seven, confidence. Your person is finding the confidence to bring forth a celebration. Okay, this is all about smiling so much that your cheeks hurt. Talking and smiling so much to each other face to face that your face actually aches. You get tired from smiling so much. That's this energy. Um, your person is building up the confidence towards bringing this in. You then have number 21, which is a three, pertains to creativity. We've had a lot of creativity this month. Um, expect the best. This is a magnet. 
in this card. It's a magnet. Positive and negative charges, it's a magnet. Um, there's also a gift here, um, divinely guided. Okay, you both feel divinely guided to each other. Um, yin and yang, positive and negative. This connection is magnetic. All right, so literally, as I was saying for your tarot, how your person truly feels about your group number four is everything that you feel towards them because you're magnets. You are feeling the same. It's completely and utterly mutual. Um, this, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, <clears throat> this person desperately wants to connect, connect, communicate to you group number four um they're, they're feeling that magnetic pull it's so strong to the point that they can't um be under any more illusions they they're done with the illusions they're done with it completely done they're aware your person is fully fully aware group number four okay be assertive so your person is building up their confidence and you would benefit from some boundary work here. Um, make sure that um, things are in alignment with your highest good. Um, and also your person is trying to be assertive where their old connection is concerned. Okay. Dwell on what you love. Right, so your person is in a little bit of a dwelling energy. Okay, asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. Scarier still is that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. I wouldn't change a leaf on you. Love the universe. Okay, so your person feels very much like you, the, the connection with you is a gift from the universe. Um, they feel very divinely guided towards you. Um, they are very aware now of what this connection is to them and the potential that this connection has. Uh, the, there are genuine feelings between both of you. You're mirroring each other and you're both dwelling on each other as well. Uh, you're both very, very much um, stuck in each other's energy. Um, it, no matter what you do, um, you, cannot, you cannot shift this person's energy away from you and they cannot shift your energy from them. Um, this is a very, very strong connection here, group number four. Okay, so that was your January predictions for how does my person truly feel. I hope that that was helpful to somebody. Please do get in touch. I absolutely love hearing from every single one of you. Um, and thank you so, so much to all of those who have supported my channel. Um, the support means the absolute world to me. It really, really does. It helps me to put more content out there. It helps me to continue put messages out there for those who need to hear them. And that, that's what I absolutely love doing. And I can only do that with um, the, the support of the collective. So thank you so, so much for, for helping me to continue doing that. Um, I hope you have a fantastic December and January and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.